What's going on, Foodie Ohana, and happy Aloha Friday. And welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. Hello everybody, my name is Lucy. Okay. <laughs> and guys, you don't want to miss this because our Foodie Ohana Club members have been voting for this and we're finally going to be going there today. So you guys don't want to miss it and we're going to be going right now because we have reservations in about 20 minutes. So let's get going. Let's go. <laughs> Perfect for this windy day where we're going to be eating and of course we had to bring a friend with us because the more the merrier, right guys? Oh, it is so... Can you guys hear that? It's really windy. I don't think you guys can even hear me at this point. <laughs> but perfect for today! So today... Oh, our, and we've been wanting oh. to try this spot because it's new. Yes, and you guys voted Foodie Ohana. The winner of the poll in our Foodie Ohana membership was Shabu Shabu. I don't think we've even featured Shabu Shabu on the channel yet. We have not, so and this we're will, here! So this will be the first ever, and we're here at Honolulu Hot Pot Hale. And joining us will be our friend Nathan. You guys remember, he took us to Kicking Cajun last time. Right across the street, actually. Yeah, yeah. So let's get it, guys. So since you've been here very often, or a lot, what do you recommend? Everything is good. Everything is good, okay. Yeah, exactly. Do you eat spicy, the broth, or do you... Spicy or spicy. Which one do you get, original? I always get tomato. Tomato, ooh, tomato. authentic tomato soup. That sounds interesting. The, the tomato is like potent. It's like tomato. Oh, so their, their beef uh -huh. tastes like bug. Like oh. it's like very like oh. It's strong like kind. strong beef flavor. The other one that's a little bit spicy is their um, sour cabbage or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. see it, it has the fire emoji <laughs> next to the... I thought that meant spicy, but it means super recommendation. Chef it has a little it has a little heat to it. The, the what's in it is the mustard cabbages. Uh, I do like that. The small chopped it's ones, chopped, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, I'll do the tomato soup with Nathan. I know this is a little different one. It says like half yard, yard. That's the, oh, yeah, the length so of the it's, plate. It's, it's like literally like a stick, like a yard stick. Oh, okay. Like half, half a yard. Oh, we gotta get a yard. So it, looks like, it looks like those paddles where you get these spank. So I guess uh, we're getting a little naughty tonight as well, guys. <laughs> a lot of spanking going on. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty excited. It looks like they have like different kinds of meat too. Ooh, they have scallion pancakes too. Oh yeah, so scallion and taro pancakes. Oh. Okay, we're really? definitely okay. getting those. I love those too. Fried Chinese bun. Oh, is that dessert? It's our first time here, as we said. So guys, Honolulu Hot Pot Hale is a Chinese hot pot. And we haven't had Chinese hot pot in a long time. We've been used to more like the Japanese style, like shabu shabu. So this is going to be pretty interesting. We'll do a yard of the pork belly. Okay. A yard? A pork belly? Oh, is that too much? Oh, okay, half, so, oh, half. So one yard is going to be like an actual yard. A it's literally like that size. Oh, okay, half. <laughs> Which one are you going to do a yard of? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Oh, <laughs> Can we get that, um, what is that drink? The fruit tea? The fruit tea. You want the fruit tea thing? It's pretty good. The pitcher? It's a pitcher? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay we should. get that instead and no need the soda. Okay, sure. Oh, no need, yeah, no need the Coke. We'll do it, the tropic. It, it's like, it has like, uh, like all this like fruits in it. Oh, okay. so it's like a non-alcoholic jungle juice. No. It's a jungle juice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> non-alcoholic jungle juice. Chinese jungle juice. <laughs> As of right now, we are um, BYOB for 
Oh, oh shucks. Oh, that's okay. good to know. Okay, yeah, next time. Thank you. So it is BYOB, guys. They're located off of Kiyomoku, right next to JJ Bakery, right? By Walmart. No, no, JJ Bakery and uh, I think it was like Verizon. Oh yeah, next to Verizon. Yeah, so right? basically, you're on the way to Almuano and it's on your right hand side. It's right there. Can't miss it. Across from the old wall. We'll link everything as usual. We are really excited, guys. And very cold and very yes. hungry. I'm so excited. A lot of us just got off work. Not, not, not me. But we, we got hey, off work. Hey, but I worked till like 2 in the morning last night getting up a video. So. That's, that is true. Anyway, yeah. we'll see when the food comes out. You know those noodles? Do they become clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the glass noodles, they become clear. What about that no. one? Yeah. They oh, really? It becomes a little bit translucent. And it's yeah. made out of sweet potato? Yeah. Oh, I haven't had that well, yet. Well, it's sweet potato noodle, yeah. That one's Nathan's one. Lime vinegar sauce. This looks really good. Mm, nice and spicy. And of course, if you guys like sesame flavor, add a little bit of kick. Are the soups uh, refilled too? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Just get them all. Oh, thank oh, you. <laughs> it smells so good. Mm, very aromatic. Guys, this is the jungle juice, or not jungle juice, I keep saying that now. <laughs> Tropical tea. Technically, it is a jungle juice. I don't know what it is. It's all I kinds see. Of, like, yeah, and, you know. pineapple, lime, lemon. It looks very refreshing. It does look really good. Also, this broth that I got is the beef broth. It has some corn in it. I see un uh, green onions, goji berries, and it's beef. Fully beef broth. Potato water. Potato water. And here's the taro pancake. Ooh, taro pancake. It's a very cute size. It's the Hakia Asian lamb. This is the lamb, you said? Yeah. Oh. And one more Hakia. So mine looks like there's diced tomatoes in here. I see green onions. Can I put some of this? Ooh. Well, I mean, it's customary. We try the broth first, right? Oh, but it's piping hot, bro. All right, fine. Right, very customary, guys. Always try the broth first. <laughs> Burn your face off. <laughs> You're just rapid boy. <laughs> it's like lava. It's like, it's just right? I like it hot. <laughs> oh, it has like a nice sweetness to it as well. Mm. And I'm hiding it right now, but I did burn my tongue. <laughs> it's way too hot, but. Oh, there's even daikon? Is this daikon? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, mm. it, it has that sweet note to it. Interesting. This is very interesting. I do taste the green onions too. Well, try some of mine. I think you would like it. It tastes like sweet, sour tomato broth. Yours looks very clean. You're like blowing all the soup out of your spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I blow it down. I didn't want to get burned again. It has a familiar taste, yours one. I can't tell Whoa. what it is. Whoa, what is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, it has that very familiar taste. Like the, I think it's the Chinese dates. That no, thing. it's it's daikon, and you guys have to add a lot of vegetables in your hot pot. So Nathan insists mm. that I try this one first. This is the um, potato, right? Yeah, potato. <laughs> Doesn't it look like like cuttlefish? <laughs> kind of. I like these noodles too. Glass noodles as well. 
And also guys, comment down below what you guys usually put in your hot pot. Do you put chrysanthemum? Do you put cabbage? Oh, this is interesting. This is like iceberg, right? I've never put that in my hot pot before. Myself oh. feel a little less guilty later. We didn't get the here. roll. Ball with the roll inside. Oh, the fish balls. Yeah. Well, this is like a cauldron of flavor. We're still hungry. I stashed this away under the table for later, but we got a whole yard of beef <laughs> to save. <laughs> Look at this, guys. This thing is huge. It's like the, the length of a pizza paddle. And the one thing I really like about Hot Pot, too, is it's a really good excuse to get your vegetables in. Especially if the broth is good like this, it renders down and it soaks up all the flavor of the broth real nicely. Guys, you can tell this is freshly made hand pulled noodles. I mean, look at it. You can tell because it's like nice and uneven. Uneven in a nice way. Nice and uneven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use the end of the paddle as an extension to my table. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta be. Um, I really like this sauce, the sesame sauce. It goes really well with the hot pot. Ooh. Hey guys, and pro tip, ask for a bigger bowl when you get here. Ooh, I really like that potato starchy thing. It's really good. I like that it looks like translucent. You Wait, I gotta find see? mine. Mine's in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice and chewy. Oh, I think I overcooked mine. I think I, I mean, it's still <laughs> chewy. <laughs> Definitely try this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The texture feels like you're eating like um, almost like a like a smooth, slippery, chewy gum. And I don't want to overcook my noodles, so I'm gonna pull it out right away. Cook it just enough. And I want it to still be bouncy. Yeah, like your noodles firm. Yep, extra firm. Ah, I burnt my tongue. Yeah, it gets really <laughs> hot, guys. Oh, you even try the pancakes. Yeah. So this is the taro pancake. Oh, it's sweet. Oh, it's sweet. Cheers. Oh, no. It's like taro mochi. Mmm. Mmm. Anything taro. Cheers. I, I'm bad at chopsticks, you guys. Mm. It's a very light, but... Mm. Like, it's a very light fragrance of scallion. Really good. Very light and crispy. Mm. You forgot your potato waterfall. Oh yeah, shoot, I forgot about this. It's right here, guys. Attempt to put this in my bra. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. I think I turned it off. We haven't even gone through all the meat yet. We're enjoying everything else so much so far. Pork belly, I'm trying it out. Oh, sure. Yeah, we can just uh, leave it there. That's the sweet sesame. And the mangusuku high Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. I the lamb. Well, the lamb is good. I burnt my tongue again. Okay, I'm gonna try um, this sauce. Mmm. It's good. It's like a sweet. It's almost like a very sweet. Wow, look at all these. Potato shavings. So far, I think I really like the sauces too. I want to put this in. Ooh, look at that, you guys. What is that? You guys like that kind of gave you flavor of lamb? It's there. It's mm. really good. Good luck cake with roe. Good luck cake with roe inside. I love roe. This is the duck blood, right? Or something? Uh, that's the cattlefish sausage. A what? Cattlefish sausage. I don't know. Cattlefish sausage. Okay, I'm trying it. And I'm not sure what this is. Uh, is this spam? <laughs> spam? One, one, one says fish cake, and the other says seafood ball with cheese. 
So I'm assuming the yellow one is the one with the cheese. Cheese. This must be a the fish, fish cake. cake. This is a 85 Miyazaki one. Oh here. my goodness. Oh. Very good. Thumbnail. Oh. This is the only one. The Wagyu for Papa. Oh, oh really? <laughs> the only place for Wagyu hot pot in yes. Hawaii. You want to try Wagyu for the first time? Real authentic Wagyu come down on the Lulu hot pot holiday. Guys, this is ridiculous. There's literally not even room on this table. There isn't. It's gold. I know. It's literally. It's, it's gonna melt just from being in the this. air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's just eat it. Just throw it in already, yeah. A5 Miyazaki Wagyu. Going into the hot pot. First time ever for us trying this actually in, in a hot pot. It cooks really fast. You might just want to like give it a quick dip, you know? We should all do a Wagyu cheers. Right. A big Wagyu cheers. We cheers. gotta wait for Nathan. Oh, it's done already. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Wagyu cheers. cheers. I'm gonna eat it straight up without any sauce. Mm. Oh. It melts. It just melts. Wow. Holy cow. Mm. Literally holy cow. Holy A5 Miyazaki cow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it just melted away. You could eat it without teeth. You very, like if you had gums only. Mm. No teeth required, you guys. <laughs> so my question is, is this spam? Yeah. Oh, it is spam. So you can get your fixing. You can get your fixing of spam here too, guys. Did you try the balls yet? No, they're they're cooking away in my thing. We still have this whole like surfing paddle. We still have this whole canoe paddle here of beef. Oh, this actually looks really good. Shovels are pretty hard to film. All it's this fashion. Well, I can see this building, you know, like after like you keep drinking it, it builds. But this one is good because it's like slightly sour. I'm gonna try the the throat. Did you try the throat yet? No. Yeah. Mm. It tastes like an oyster mushroom. Really? Is it oyster mushroom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Alright guys, I'm going in for these things. Felix already tried this cheesy one. I'm gonna try this sausage. Again, we don't know what it is, but I'm gonna try it. Mm. This has the roe in it. Can you guys see? It kind of just has like a fishy taste. It's pretty good. It, it kind of tastes like sweet too. Oh, it's not the prettiest looking, but it tastes really good. It's kind of, I feel like uh, you could be off put by the look of it and maybe the color, but don't. You should really try it. It's really good. Oh, we're trying the other one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Mm. Thank you. Oh, it's good. I like that one. This is so good. It has salted egg in it. Do you guys like salted egg like me? You're gonna like this. It's really good. And also, guys, I feel like we've been to our fair share of shabu places or hot pot places or nabe places. I've never had this before, ever. Or this cheese one. Or that fishy, brown looking one. Very good. I'm gonna try this one. Mm. This is kind of 
kind of fishy too. I really like the, the ball, or like the aburage, the tofu skin. Very delicious. Gives it a nice uh, meaty flavor without having overly meat. I don't know. How do you explain it? If you like tofu skin, you'll definitely like this one. I'm gonna try one of the more exotic cuts of meat now. This guy right here. Oh! <laughs> so they do have here if you want to spam as well. Don't discriminate, Puri Ohana. You can go from A5 to spam. That's how we roll. Hey guys, the best part about Honolulu Hot Pot Hale is what? When you're done with your beef stick, take it home and lay the law. So stupid. <laughs> I don't no, know please, whose please. Law you're laying. No, please don't take these home, guys. <laughs> oh, wait, also, can I just say a couple highlights? I really like the fish ball things, that trio that we got. Get the definitely balls. Definitely get that. And the sauce wise, definitely get this shoyu. Get the lime, lime vinegar sauce. Lime vinegar. Any of the meats are good. Oh, and if you like mustard cabbage and you like the pickled mustard cabbage, like the Chinese style one, get this hot pot. It's the mustard cabbage one. Chinese sauerkraut soup. Yeah, Chinese sauerkraut. Or get the that. tomato one. I recommend the tomato one. So either one can't go wrong, guys. So cute. Yeah, you can cook on it. You just spell out the tree, you know? <laughs> wow. Oh, thank you. Oh, even the spoons. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mung bean shave ice. Oh, is it? Ooh. And it's served out of this like coconut thing. It's pretty cool. I think one of the best things about eating hot pot is the dessert that follows. Usually it's shave ice or something like this. Nice and cool after a hot meal. So there's ice cream, shave ice, this mung bean. Oh, mung bean. That's what this is. What is this thing? It looks like corn. Just get a little bit of our like thing. Okay. It looks like uh, either stuffing or corned beef hash. What? Sorry, I like a little bit of everything. All right. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Okay. What is this thing? Mung bean. What fruit is it? It's bean. That's the fruit? Mm, this is bean. Oh, that's bean. It's like sweet bean. Oh, yeah. The ice is very, um, what do you call it, rustic? It's not like finely shaven ice, but it's very, it's like chopped ice. Strawberry ice cream? Mm, much needed after hot pot. Mm, very nice. All right, Foodie Ohana. That was a lot of beef, a lot of noodles, a lot of awesome Chinese hot pot goodness. Yeah, so it was perfect for this nice, windy, cold winter day here in Hawaii. It is but still not windy. That cold, yeah. If you guys liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It helps us out. And also thank you to our Foodie Ohana Club members for voting for Shabu Shabu because we finally went here. I know it took a, a long time, but we went here finally. And we also want to give a big shout out to everyone who's been watching, keeping up with our Vlogmas episodes. It's kind of like a marathon, basically. Yes. <laughs> and shout out to Wei, the owner. He was super cool. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 10. Vlogmas 10. Day 10, before we get blown away. <laughs> bye. Explore your inner foodie. Peace out. Bye, Shoes, Slaters, Ken Nathan. Oh, bye. Normally at other hot pots, we'd be sharing one, like, that one's cooking cool. area. Oh, you want that one? No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 Oh. This is so dangerous. Look at how you put this. No, okay. So tonight we'll be enjoying Campbell's tomato soup. No. <laughs> Just joking, guys. Yeah. The you want to try that glass one? I'll try it. Yeah, yeah. we'll do that one. What are you see all this? <laughs> Under vegetable. Oh, oh that's that, why. Yeah, that. <laughs> I don't look at vegetables. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't see that. Uh, Whoops. I want to try the scallion one. Mm -hmm. oh. Aki. Oh, the noodles are so good here. Oh, oh. oh. And it's still trying Should to get the black belt with the chopstick. It's a so whole entire potato on a plate right here, guys. Oh, you can't even see it. <laughs> it's like, oh, this thing is like long. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like a Nemo colored ball. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh, That's sorry. mean. Oh, darkness. Oh, shit. <laughs> Darkness is <laughs> the best part, guys, about eating here is that when you're done with the paddle, 
you take it home, expect your love. What? No. <laughs> you don't have a mic on. Oh, hey, where's my yeah, mic? Took it off. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Where, where is it? Right there. Yeah. Oh. Guys, the best part about when you're finished. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> hey guys, the best part about Honolulu Hale Hot Pot is Honolulu Hot Pot Hale. And I was posting on uh, every single social media that exists out there. Shut we up. shall get to it shortly. Okay, okay, okay. Okay.